What's going on everybody? This is Brandon Hill and today I'm going to show you three ways that you could tighten up your drums and machine for a more crispy sound. So you could go from a drum loop like this to something more tighter like this. So let's get into it. Okay, so I have a basic 909 kit loaded up here. I just have a three core elements of a house beat, the open hi-hat, the clap, and the kick. I'll solo all those individually. We have this kick here. It's kind of longer, and I like my kicks short and punchy. And then we have this clap. The clap is okay, but still kind of long. But the element here that I really like to edit is this open hi-hat. It just kind of, it's a little too long for me, and I like to have my open hi-hats short and tight. So this is what it sounds like. So let's go through method number one, which is we are going to use a transient master on this open i-hat to shorten it up. So this is what it sounds like. I'm going to go to plugins. I'm going to add the transient master, which is a stock plugin. And basically with the transient master, you could edit the transients of the sound. So with attack, you could edit the first part of the sound, the transient, and make it punchy or hit harder. But with the sustain, that's basically the body of the sound. And when you lower the sustain, you could essentially tighten up the body of this open eye hat. So, and if you increase the sustain, you'll have a more full, uh, lengthier sound. So I'll play this. Now watch as I turn this down and you'll hear the open hi-hat get a lot tighter. You hear that? Now watch if I increase. So one, this is one way you could do this. Now let me show you a before and after and solo this open hi-hat. So this is before and this is after. Okay, so let's go back to this. Let's work on this open hi-hat again. I'm going to take this transient master off. So now we have what we had before. And now we're going to use the second method, which is to adjust the sample's amplitude envelope. Okay, so we're going to use the attack, hold, and decay to edit the sound. So this is what it sounds like. Now watch as I start to decrease this hold time. You hear it tightening up? You could get it real tight. So let's do that. So let's go back. This was before and then after. Okay, let me undo all of that. And now let's focus on this open hi-hat again. And the third way that we could do is we could edit this sample here by going into sampling, edit, now we have this wave here and what we can do is we could use a right here page one play range i'm going to selection range and you probably can't see it on there but you could see it on the screen where you could see my selection so i'm going to select and i'm going to use these pads right here to choose uh, fade out so i'm going to hit apply right here and i'll hit it you can hit it multiple times to keep fading it out but listen to the sound when this happens You see that? And you can see the waveform shortening up. So this is before, and this is after. So that's the third way that you could tighten up your drums. And we displayed this on the open hi-hat, but you could do this with your kick too. I'll quickly walk through that. So let me solo the kick now. So we have this. Let's do it with the transient master. Okay, I'm gonna select the kick, and I'm going to add a transient master. I'm going to decrease the sustain to make it a lot tighter. So listen out for that. Hear that? So let me delete that and then I'll show you how to do it by adjusting the attack hold decay. So here we go. You hear that? A lot shorter and punchier if that's what you like. So let me undo that. And then lastly, we'll do it by going into the, the sampler for the kick. So I'm going to go into sampling and here is the wave. I'm going to go into selection range. You can see on the screen what I'm selecting. 
let's go right there and I'm gonna hit the fade out until I get a sound that I like. That might have been too much, so I'll do... Okay, that sounds good. So yeah, those are three ways that you could adjust the length of your drums and you could use it to tighten up your drums, make it a lot crispier. If you have any other sounds that you want to make a little tighter and more snappy, you could use any of these three methods as well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, like and subscribe and leave a comment and there will be more tutorials on the way and I will see you on the next one.